video. Um, this video today is going to be sick. Not that any of my other videos aren't sick, but it's going to be sick because this is my first food challenge video of 2020, which is super exciting. Um, it's Sunday, it is the 23rd of February, and um, I've had my eye on this challenge that's just been recently launched um, at this joint in Byford in Perth, Western Australia. And um, yeah, like it's basically a um, fairly decent looking, um, like the pictures we just here, um, fairly decent looking um, burger with, you know, a little bit of chips. And um, the goal is to basically to put this sucker down um, within 15 minutes. So, you know, like just from seeing what they posted on social media, it doesn't look too extreme. Like, yeah, so it's like I haven't really prepped for it. Um, like I just had a nice normal feed last night. And um, basically today, um, I haven't eaten anything yet, and I'll be, yeah, I've like just been sipping on water and that sort of stuff so that I'm nice and hungry. And then um, basically, yeah, um, the challenge itself, because it's like I know how much I can handle in one sitting. And obviously, if like I'm doing a challenge that is going to be pushing sort of that amount, I know that I need to prep for it, you know, in certain ways. Shout out to Randy Santel. Hey, everybody. This is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for a win, overall win, number 810, our 55 wings, along with a pile of fries in the middle. So we've got 55 minutes to finish. Well, who's one of the kings of food challenges? You can follow him. He's got a sick YouTube channel. He's done like more than 800 food challenges or something ridiculous. He's a lad. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be heading there shortly. I'm going to be doing a Facebook live stream as well. So if you're following me on social media, you would probably have already seen how I went by now. Um, given that, uh, oh yeah, at the time of me launching this video on YouTube, um, yeah, whoever follows me on social media would have already known how I've done basically. So a bit of inception, time warp, mind fuck for it right there. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically got my gear ready, gonna go head over there now and um, yeah, bring on this sick burger challenge at Baked in Life. Stand up, do you reckon, if, um, I, if I don't hold it? No. Not really? That's yeah. alright. I'll, uh... Can I get some, uh, footage first before you start yeah. a timer or whatever? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Oh, that's okay. which is obviously in Byford and um, about to kick off um, what looks to be a massive food challenge which is way bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So the picture didn't remotely look as big as this so it's like there's pretty much yeah, three big burgers, um, all these chips so it's way bigger than the photo. Like, I sh like if I knew it was going to be this big I would have prepped better for it but um, lucky my brother Ryan over here bailed on it because he probably wouldn't be able to do it. This is just ridiculous. So basically you need to try and finish this in 15 minutes, which is going to be an absolute mission. I do not know if I'm going to be able to finish this or not. Obviously going to try my very best. I'm letting it cool down at the moment. So if you guys are joining me live, say hello, wish me some luck, send some memes and prayers because this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be a doozy. Um, I'm going to try and figure out where to sit you guys so you can see because I'm going to be... Yeah, obviously once it's game time, pretty much just be eating as fast as I can. And I've got my other camera over there, which is gonna be set up and rocking. Um, yeah, keep holding it, bro. Uh, let's see, does it look good? Yeah, we're looking good, fam. Um, so, thank you. Yeah, let us know your Sunday's gone. Sunday fun day, after all. Um, this is, yeah. This 
was three ways three. of TGs, I think, all up based on what the chick said. Um, I'll show you guys in the comments later on the actual photo um, itself and you can see how much bigger it looks like. Like now when you go to Macca's and stuff like that and the feed looks way smaller, this is like the complete opposite. Thanks Patricia. Um, this is like the complete opposite, seriously. Um, but yeah, I guess it is what it is, so we'll try. If I beat this, I don't get the milk for free, but I will get to be on their wall of fame, so that's pretty sick. And then if I don't beat it in 15 minutes, it's gonna be, yeah, 35 bucks. Um, no, yeah, I obviously paid for it anyway, but if I don't beat it, I'm gonna be on their wall of shame. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Um, let's see, that's all set. This is my food challenge for today. Just look at the size of this. For those of you who are joining in now, like it's just massive, like it's just so big. It's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So you guys can see pretty good there. I'm just gonna cool down a fraction more before I start powering into it. My goal is gonna be basically power through the meat and then that way I'll weave the bun through with some onion rings and kind of go back and forth a bit. Um, hey Meg, can you give us some barbecue sauce? I'm pretty sure I'll be allowed to use that. Thank you. That's so good, thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to give you some sauce, I probably might use that. Am I allowed to squirt some sauce in the chips? It's alright, cool. I'll probably use that. Um, oh yeah, that's recording. Yeah, I guess, give us a countdown. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Hey, it's voiceover Angus Beef here, and um, big thanks once again for stopping by to click on this video. I hope you're enjoying the footage so far. Obviously, this was me taking on, I don't actually know what the name of it was, but um, basically, it's the mother of all burger challenges at Baked in Byford, very first in Australia. So, um, as you've heard me complain a few times, um, <laughs> uh, basically, yeah, this is way bigger than what I perceived it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a walk in the park, and if the burger and stuff that I was actually given was the size of the one of the photo, I reckon it would have done absolutely fine. But anyway, coming into this, the strategy was once I'd realized just how fucking big it was, was to just eat as fast as I possibly could. So you here are seeing um, basically a time lapse um, of basically about times four speed. So I wish I could eat this fast, but alas, I can't. <laughs> um, this challenge consisted of like the whole burger itself would be easily weighed um, about one and a half kgs. So a lot of meat, um, cheese, bacon, pickles, sauce, heaps of buns, that sort of thing, and a bit of health and fitness at the bottom, aka a little bit of lettuce and tomato, which was all soggy and gross by the end. Um, and then about a kilo of thick chips, um, and then about 500 grams of onion rings. So this is easily the biggest burger-based challenge I've ever done. Um, and uh, yeah, it was an absolute doozy. Um, I'm thankful to the chick that brought it out um, in the way that she let me actually let it sit for a bit to actually cool down, as you would have seen. Um, because some joints that I've done a challenge at before, they want you to basically get stuck straight into it as soon as they bring it out to you. So in other words, it's pipe hot. And um, yeah, just not a good time. So um, yeah, this was absolutely massive. Um, as you can see from the various angles, I'm just chipping away at it, uh, mixing between I'm so switching between basically the you know the meat components, a little bit of chips, meat components, a little bit of chips, meat components, a little bit of onion rings to try and get that down as soon as I could. And um, yeah, that was basically the strategy coming into this. And I haven't actually done a challenge in a while. This is my first one in 2020, as you would have heard me say earlier. And um, yeah, basically it's just a means of like if I had prepped properly, this would have been a walk in the park. Pardon me. <laughs> Now with this one, um, 
the prize wasn't going to be anything free or anything like that, just basically bragging rights and um, being up in their wall of fame, which I thought fucking cool, like I will smash it and be in their wall of fame. But um, yeah, as you're going to see, um, I start to slow down, um, even though this is in like fast paced footage and stuff like that, naturally once you start to hit the wall, you do a few challenges. Um, it gradually starts to yeah, solidify itself in terms of strength and just slaps you like a mofo. Oh, take these chips off now. These tomatoes are so good as well. <coughs> Now, a lot of people have asked me personally in terms of like how someone can stay lean doing food challenges and eating big meals and stuff often. And the simple fam is just a means of um, learning to manipulate the thermodynamics and calories and macros and stuff on the outside of the challenges that you do. So, typically, say for example, the average male might consume two and a half to three thousand calories. So, if you, for example, consume two thousand or five hundred less than your average day to day target each day, so six days of the week maybe, and then one day you do your challenge or you have a hatch take cheat day where you're eating all the leftover calories it's quite easy to be able to stay lean year round with an approach like this um, this is basically what i do uh, not that i track calories now at the moment but it's fairly easy to be able to stay lean when you know this sort of stuff and then it's just a means of building your capacity training when it comes to your stomach so that you can handle you know more food in one sitting um, this is stuff that i've learned from randy santel and other big names in the game who are absolute legends of getting heaps of food very fast <laughs> so much better. Every second count so fam. Straight down to the wire. Admitted. I'm really tapped now the house. So full. Once again, big thanks for being here. Enjoy the rest of the video. Um, given that this footage that you're going to be seeing now was from my live stream, you're going to see my, uh, my wrap up um, before I actually do an official intro at the end. So um, enjoy some commentary and then it'll basically be just yeah, finishing up the chips and um, chatting with you guys there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again. Shame. Oh, yeah. That was intense. Oh, the camera's already dead anyway. Oh man. Yeah, I got it well to get all that done. Yeah. Let me know in the comments, fam, if you reckon I should just keep eating the whole thing. I'm supposed to finish it in 15 minutes. I reckon I'll try and finish it. Yeah, I'm gonna try and eat it all. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep trying. No, no, I'll just keep eating. I'll see how much I can get through. <laughs> oh, it's a Polaroid stick. Once it's developed, can you show the uh, the camera? That'd be funny. Yes. No, is it to show the? Yeah. Does it take long to develop? Lost boys and girls. Luke, what's going on, bro? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, hold hold for a bit, we'll see how I get on. <clears throat> Alright, seriously, look how thick these chips are. They are the thickest chips I've ever seen. Sorry, man. double how big I thought it was going to be. So no wonder no one's done it. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. So much mayo. Yeah.
like as thick as my thighs. We're talking like three C's thick. So if any of you guys reckon you can beat it, um, pro tip, plan for it, which is what I would have done if I knew it was going to be this big. <laughs> She's putting me on the wall of shame now. I'll show you guys in a tick. Um, is yeah, like plan for it. So like, what I usually do is um, have like the mother of all salads with like a chicken feed and whatever the night before and drink like so much water. And then, yeah, do a few things in the morning in the lead up. Oh man, it's not fun anymore. Um, then do a few things in the lead up. Literally for me, because of how I saw the photo, I was like, man, it's a bit easy. So I didn't bother doing any of my normal prep. That's why I failed. She comes with the photo. <laughs> oh, it's all black and white. Yeah. How good. Can you show it there? Uh, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we're going to chuck the wall of shame up there. Yeah, do it. Don't feel too bad. No one's going to finish that at all. Like, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll show you guys the full wall of shame in a bit. Hopefully Randy Chantel watches this and he comes to Perth to come and smash it out, that'd be sick. If you don't know who Randy Chantel is, who even are you? You know who Randy Chantel is, don't you Meg? Yeah. It's all <laughs> I reckon this challenge was like, uh, you just need to finish it. Like, and you got like 40 minutes, you can just sit down and chill. I reckon I could probably do it. So it's like, I'm gonna try and finish all these chips. And all that's left is just a few of the buns. Um, and this gross sloppy tomato. For those of you who are tuning in live, let us know if you've ever done a food challenge before. Love to hear, we're pretty sick. James, how you doing, brother? Last two chips, fam. Oh, man. We're very full now. No, no, it's funny, right? I was, like, eyeing off the dessert cabinet, thinking, like, yeah, sick. I'll smash a mad dessert when I'm finished. That's what happens. So cool. Trent, how you doing, bro? So on slam dunk. Oh man. Oh, that's me. Oh, the feels. <laughs> Probably one of the, the biggest ones I've ever done. Right? That's bigger than the Riverson one. Yeah. Probably just about the same size as Burger. <coughs> the patties look about the same, of course, but the um, so much chips and onion rings. Oh my god. Oh. That hurt to watch. Yeah. Hey, Amanda. Oh, damn, son. Yes. Uh, I'll 
social media was the vegan version but then it's like the fuck like why would you put up the vegan version like yes of course that means that vegans can do it but it's like you would put up an accurate photo of what everyone's going to be doing you know what I mean so um yeah um I feel like absolute shit I feel so full um like I have to push really hard for that one and um yeah so it was about three kgs of like food that came out um and yeah to do in 15 minutes I was like fuck like this is gonna be hard like I've never eaten that much in that quickly like I have before but not in 15 minutes um so yeah here's a photo as well in terms of how much I had left over um which as you can see got a fairly decent amount of the way through it um but yeah like even if I just kept sitting there eating um I know that I probably would have been sick because even on the drive home like to come and film this intro like I um kind of fought back the urges to spew uh, a number of times um, and then yeah like all I wanted to do was just brush my teeth I felt so hot like I still feel so hot so I'm just like I've just been lying down in the aircon and um, just been powering through water so basically yeah I won't eat anything else the rest of the day and probably won't eat anything until lunchtime tomorrow so in other words like I started the challenge at around two um, and then yeah, probably won't eat tomorrow until about 12 or 2. So almost a day of fasting to be able to digest this shit. But um, anyway, we lost fam, so that's my first ever loss. But really, I think it's like a bit of an unfair loss. Let me know in the comments below if you think that, um, yeah, they basically screwed me over a bit. But I um, hope you enjoyed watching me suffer um, and grind through that. Um, obviously, if you're not following me on social media, you definitely should do so because that way you can be in the know of like the shit that I'm up to and just my sick posts and stuff like that as they come. You can follow me on Facebook, angus.fairbend.16. You can follow me on Instagram as well. Um, do it for the burgers. Um, and yeah, fam, like this was a tough one. So I'm gonna try and hunt down, I reckon, a sweet-based challenge and I might do some like YouTube-specific ones or potentially gonna dabble in some of the day in the life of diet ones where it's just like, you know, rocks diet to smash that in a day and this sort of shit like I reckon I'll probably be doing some of them in the future but if you're new to the channel hope you enjoyed it give the video a like if you did regardless of whether you're new to the channel or not and obviously if you're fresh to these parts in terms of this channel um yeah it'd be cool to have you hang around and subscribe 
because um, yeah, that's all the cool kids do I hear. So thanks for watching. See you next time on the YouTube world fam. Peace out.